be the draw and much abuse in casting figures, telling fortunes, news, the selling of flies, flat baudry with stone, till it and they and all of you are gone.
Who? That I am? You are mistaken. Oh, yes, come. You know it well enough, though you dissemble it. Sir, I do tell you, you are mistaken. Ah, swear so strongly in a thing so known unto the doctor. How can we, sir, ever trust you in the other matter? <laughs> can we ever think when you have won five or six thousand, you'll send us shares in it by this rate? By Jove, I'll win ten thousand and send you half. <laughs> no, no, he does but yes. Go to. Go thank the doctor. He's your friend, to take it so. I thank his grace. So, more shillings. Must I? Must you? What else is thanks? Will you be trivial? <coughs> doctor, when must he come for his job? Shall I not have him with me now? No, oh, sir. There must be a world of ceremonies past first. You must be bathed and fumigated. Besides, the Queen of Fairy does not rise to lose. Well, see, her grace, what e'er it cost you for a thing that I know. It will be somewhat hard to compass, but however, see her. She may have to leave you all she has. It is the doctor's fear. How will it be done? Let me alone take you no thought, do you? But say to me, Captain, I'll see her grace. Captain, I'll see her grace. Oh, uh, what an honor! Uh, conduct him out the back way. <laughs> oh, sir, a six one, you must always be fasting. Take three drops of vinegar in a Two in your mouth and one in either ear. Wash your finger ends and bathe your eyes to sharpen your five senses. Uh, then cry, hum thrice and buzz as off, and then come. And you could have this. I warned you. Well, then away. It is but your bestowing. And put on a clean shirt for her grace the fairy. <laughs> 